Woodstock has quietly been making a name for itself. For the longest time, it was just considered the country. After all, it's about 45 minutes from the city. I've had more and more people reaching out, asking about this little town in Cherokee County, which begs the question, why is Woodstock so popular? Hey, it's Ashley Lazarin, Georgia native and local realtor selling the suburbs of Atlanta for the last 18 years. Believe it or not, Woodstock actually dates back to the 1800s. It was a railroad town that helped connect Atlanta to the rest of the Southeast. You can't help but notice the rich history here. The cobblestone streets, the architecture and the old buildings. The old train station is even still here. It's impossible not to be captivated by Woodstock's rich history. Downtown Woodstock is a vibe of its own. There are restaurants and breweries lining the tree line streets. One of the top spots, Reformation Brewery, backs up to the amphitheater, so people gather here every weekend just to listen to some of the events. There's local shops everywhere. Most aren't corporate chains, though. These are locals you're supporting when you shop. One place that I check out every single time is Made Mercantile. This is nothing like I've ever seen. They rent out space within the building to the different artists. Then they have the front of the building set up as a shop where each artist has a place to sell what they create. I bought my favorite candle in the world right here at the Dirty Unicorn. What a way to foster creativity, small business, and the kicker, this was all started by the city themselves. Woodstock feels like one big giant park. Every street you drive down for the most part has established trees lining the roads. Old Rope Mill Park is a local favorite. There's walking trails, a lake, even a kayak launch. It truly is just so easy to relax here. Woodstock has grown a lot over the years. Today, there are close to 37,000 people in Woodstock. Compare that with some of the cities that we've talked about, such as Alpharetta or even Marietta, and 37,000 doesn't sound that bad. Now, if you're looking for something that's a little bit closer to the city, maybe you need a better commute, or you kind of like that city hustle and bustle, Marietta might be the place for you. And if so, check out this video here where I dive a little bit deeper into that. There's a wide range of homes here. A lot of the homes were built in the 80s and 90s. You're also gonna find a lot of the homes that are freestanding. They're not really in a neighborhood, so you're not gonna have the HOA. That could be a benefit, it could not be. It really depends on you personally. So not having an HOA, you can do whatever you want to on your property. You're not having anybody tell you what you can and can't do. However, you're also not gonna have those amenities and if your neighbor decides that they wanna own a car lot, well, not really much you can do. Hands down, my absolute favorite neighborhood is Town Lake. This neighborhood embodies the word community. There's tree-lined streets, established homes, soaring golf course views. This neighborhood has it all. Should we go in and take a look at one? Let's go. You can see what I was talking about here with the 90s vibes. There's some updates that are needed, but there is a ton of space. Right here at the entrance of the neighborhood, you have a Kroger. Right down the street over here, you've got a Quick Trip, and then my absolute favorite, a Sprouts. There's a lot of new construction here in Woodstock. You've probably heard me mention in some of my other videos, but a lot of what we're noticing is townhomes, attached homes, and that really is due to the price of land and builders trying to get as much for their dollar as they possibly can. I'm walking from downtown because I want to show you guys some of the latest new construction that is literally right down the street, walking distance to the downtown area. Having these homes built right here within walking distance to downtown has really changed the vibe of Woodstock from a quiet rural town to more of a live, work, play suburban oasis. The thing that hasn't changed is the community vibe here. Woodstock residents don't want to be the big city. They like the small town feel and they work really hard to keep it that way. Woodstock is a town that's constantly evolving. While it honors its history, it's also constantly looking towards the future. If you think you might wanna be a part of that, Woodstock might just be the place to put down roots. If you're thinking about making a move to Woodstock or really anywhere in Georgia, my team and I would love to be your resource. Reach out to me at ashley at myhaventeam.com. 
I hope to hear from you. I'll see you next week. Want to be a part of this? What's up? <laughs>